This is MikeBot. So today I'm going to be doing a little quick uh, settings walkthrough with the PLA Plus settings that I use on my Anchor Make M5. I tried to replicate the same settings I use in Cura on my Ender 5 Pro, and I've had pretty good results so far. So I've run out of the Anchor Make uh, PLA that they provided me with. So I switched over to the Airy One PLA. Uh, the results aren't as good yet, but they're pretty decent for the speed. So I will have to tweak the uh, settings a little bit for my next prints. So the prints and the time lapses you see at the end of this, they're going to be, uh, I think one or two of them are going to be from the Airy One print and the rest are going to be from the Anchor Make White PLA Plus. Same settings are applied to both. You'll see the difference really uh, with the end results there. So once again, this is going to be for PLA Plus. Um, I've already done one on Petchy and I have one coming soon on TPU. I just have to complete a few more test prints. And uh, a couple more interesting ones like Silk and uh, various other filaments. I'm going to be doing a settings test. Once I get su enough successful prints, I'll make more videos on those. So stay tuned for those. So just like last time, I'm going to go through all the settings. Uh, I already have my profile saved here. It's not a fancy name because it's a test one. So let's go ahead and start with quality. So once again, leave at default. Walls. For this, uh, I go 0 0.8 to 1.2, depending on what I'm printing. Uh, once again, I go alternate extra wall, uh, fill gaps everywhere. The top bottom, 0 0.8. I'll go 1.2 in rare cases with PLA, but for the most part, 0 0.8. I uh, always enable ironing. I can clearly see that the uh, profile didn't save properly. Uh, ironing, I enable for most of my prints, especially if I want them to look pretty. And I usually go with the zigzag pattern. As far as infill goes, 10 to 20%. If I want to save on material and I'm doing like a model, I'll go with 10%. Uh, and then I usually connect infill lines as well. Material, I haven't touched this tab or played with it too much, but uh, I may need to start reducing the flow on some of my prints. So we'll see. Speed, I left it at 250. PLA Plus seems to print really well with... Uh, with the 250 MMS. Now acceleration control, this could be maybe what's causing some of the issues with the uh, Airy one print, but uh, not with the anchor make print. So for the most part, acceleration is on right now, jerk control is on. I will modify them as needed uh, in time. Travel, I always uh, enable retraction. Uh, I don't retract that layer change. It just slows down the print a little bit. I also uh, don't do Z-Hop when retracted. So again, I, they slow down the print and I don't see enough benefit. Uh, combing mode, I always select all. Cooling, always on, always 100%. Now, I have been playing around with it and doing 75. Um, there is a bit of a difference, so keep it at 100, I think. Uh, don't mess with any of the other settings there. Now, supports, this is very important. I always go... Generate support, I always go with tree. And then I always go touching build plate and zigzag. Now my supports are getting tougher and tougher to remove with this anchor make for some reason. Like they, they make them too damn strong. So maybe I need to mess around with the support pattern a little bit. Like I might try going lines, but basically I've gone with zigzag. Uh, I don't want the zigzag lines connected. So I click X and I usually go 1%, but for my future prints, I'm going to try 0%. And instead of zigzag, I might try maybe lines, see if that makes it, or maybe go lines at 1% just to experiment for my next one. I am saving this profile at the end. That's why I'm making the changes now, by the way. And then uh, build plate adhesion, once again, skirt. Uh, so one thing I missed actually going through this was with my printing, I uh, the temperature. So the temperature here, I do my under material. I, you know, I, I skimmed through that really quick by accident. Uh, the every one print doesn't like to go over 220. So I do 220 for initial, and then I want to print around 215. I'm going to go 210 for future ones because uh, 215 seemed to be too much, potentially. I, I saw a lot of stringing with the Shy Guy mask. You're going to see at the end. So I'm going to modify it to 210, 55, and I'm actually going to name this one Save As. I'm going to actually call it Airy one PLA. 
And then every time I do a different material, different brand, I will do the same thing with the profile. So that's basically it for the settings. Very quick little video for the PLA Plus. Um, try those settings out. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. It uh, really shows me that you support what I'm doing and uh, it's just your way of saying thank you to me and it's greatly appreciated. What I'll do for fun like last time is I'm just gonna go ahead and throw an SDL file in here and uh, I'll just do this. US. I printed this with Petgy earlier today, uh, transparent Petgy, but I did it on my uh, Ender 5 actually. So I'm just gonna slice it here. On my Ender 5, it took around, I don't know, six or seven hours with Petgy. So with this one, it would have taken an hour and 15 minutes using PLA. Uh, as you can see, pretty clean looking from the uh, image that's been generated. And there might be some stringing along here, but shouldn't be too bad. But anyway, uh, I'm not going to print this right now. I do have a print in progress. Uh, if I go to my device, actually, you can see I'm printing a, a little uh, love sign with a base. It's at 22% done. Going at 250, it's not showing the uh, schematic for some reason. Oh, well. So, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. So check out the uh, uh, check out the uh, the time lapses and the pictures at the end. And once again, let me know what you think in the comments. All right. So with the time lapses, the first thing we have here is the uh, Super Mario character I made. Uh, this is made with the Anchor Make PLA+. Plus. Uh, temperature was 200, build plate 55. I used permanent marker to color him, not my airbrush kit. But uh, as you can see, it came out pretty decent. I'm fairly impressed with the uh, Anchor Make PLA. So next to what I have here is the uh, a game called Sickbo. This is a case I made, again, using Anchor Make PLA. I had to sand the edge of the uh, top of the case a little bit to get it to fit. But for the most part, it came out fairly perfect, and I'm really impressed uh, those are the cards in there, not line marks, by the way. So there's the case, showcasing all the different angles of it. Very, very nice, clean print. Um, next again with the Anchor Make PLA Plus, this is a Shy Guy character from Mario. Uh, very, very clean, beautiful print again, no complaints whatsoever. Uh, I used uh, permanent marker and white out to color this character. Again, I didn't use my airbrush. Uh, I like to change it up. So the colors are a little off. It could be just the camera or because I use permanent marker. But again, I'm very impressed with it. So now, uh, again, this is Anchor Make PLA Plus. This is called a Master Ball from Pokemon. This one wasn't the best print for some reason. And I don't have pictures of it, but they will come soon. And last but not least, this is a Shy Guy mask. I printed this using the Airy One PLA. And uh, I'm not too impressed with how this came out it might have been printed too fast or i needed to change the orientation of it so if you see the back of it there's a lot of uh, uh loose lines it could also be something as simple as uh, uh i don't know it could be something as simple as retraction i have no idea what the issue is yet and last but not least i have this beautiful print using the anchor make pla and this is just a christmas scene that i made it's four different prints each one took like 45 minutes it's a bit of airbrushing and a bit of a permanent marker to get the colors very very impressed with it uh so i'm gonna have to tweak a little bit with the airy one pla to get it perfect but overall i'm fairly impressed uh feel free to go back pause slow down and take a look at the pictures in greater detail uh anyway if you have any questions or comments please leave them below i always get back as soon as possible um, and please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you all for watching today. Mike Bot out.